Hello everyone, this is our today's topic, Link Aggregation, Why Tech Cloud L2 Management Switch. And later, I'm going to introduce from these two parts. First, introduction to link aggregation in manual model. Second, example for configuring link aggregation in LACP mode. First, a brief introduction about link aggregation. Link aggregation refers to bonding multiple inserts physical links together into one logical link. So, as to achieve the purpose of increasing link bandwidth, link aggregation is divided into manual model and LACP mode. In manual model, the experiment of each trunk and the addition of remember interface are manually configured without the participation of link aggregation control protocol LACP. When a large link bandwidth needs to be provided between two directly connected devices, but the devices do not support the LACP protocol, the manual model can be used. Manual model can be achieved the purpose of increasing bandwidth, improving reliability and load sharing in manual model or active links, participate in data forwarding and shell traffic. So, to demonstrate the configuration of link aggregation, the following top large diagram is propelled for configuration experiment. We can see that terminal devices belonging to VLAN 100 and the VLAN 200 are connected to switch A and switch B, respectively. This section simulates a large bandwidth scenario for department in order to Border the bandwidth between A to B to ensure the fast forwarding of traffic and provide a certain degree of redundancy to ensure the reliability of data transmission and links. Here, we will do link aggregation between switch A and switch B. This page is our configuration idea. So we will follow this idea to finish all the configuration steps. Later, let's take a look of this idea. First, created LAG1 interface and add member interface to increase link bandwidth. Second, create a VLAN and add the interface to the VLAN. Third, configure the load sharing mode to realize the load sharing of traffic among the member interface of LAG1 and increase the reliability. Now, let's start. We are configuring the switch A. This is the first step. On the navigation bar, find the link aggregation button and group button, and then click LAG1 and click Idiot button. The second step is VLAN creation. We need to create VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 on switches A and B, respectively. Next, because the ports 4 and 5 connect to computer, so we need to configure these two ports to assess mode. By the way, the LAG1 group defaults to trunk mode, so you don't need to set it. Next, you need to configure an untargeted VLAN for the port 4 interface of VLAN 100. Set LAG1 to tag it on VLAN 200. Set the port 4 interface to untargeted mode and set the LAG1 to target. Next is the step 5. Set load balance for link aggregation group. In this case, IPMAC address is used to perform load balance. After completing the configuration of switch A, we start to configure switch B. 
The same first step is to create link aggregation group LAG1. Step 2, create it VLAN 100 and VLAN 200. Next step, because the ports 4 and 5 connected to computer, so we need to configure these two ports to access mode. Next, you need to configure and untarget VLAN for ports 4 in interface of VLAN 100 in the VLAN configuration, set the LAG1 to trunk and change the interface to tag it. On VLAN 200, set the port 4 interface to untarget mode and set the LAG1 to target mode. Step 5. Set load balance for the link aggregation group. In this case, IPMAC address is used to perform a load balance. After configuring switch A and B, you can connect to the two switches for testing. Okay, that's next section. This section is describes how to configure link aggregation in LACP mode. And please let me introduce Ethernet link aggregation refers to bounding multiple Ethernet physical links together into one logical link so as to achieve the purpose of increasing link bandwidth. Link aggregation is divided into manual mode LACP mode. LACP mode requires the participation of link aggregation to protocol LACP when a large link bandwidth needs to be provided between two directly connected devices and uh, devices for the LACP protocol. It is recommended to use the LACP mode. Yeah, ACP mode can not only achieve the purpose of increasing bandwidth, improving reliability and load sharing, but also can improve the fault tolerance of ETH trunk and provide backup functions. In LACP mode, some links are active links and all active links participate in data forwarding. If an active link fails, the link aggregation group automatically selects a link among the inactive links as the active link. And the number of links participating in data forwarding remains unchanged. To demonstrate the configuring of link aggregation, the following topology diagram is prepared for the configuration experiment. We can see that terminal devices belonging to VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 are connected to switch A and switch B, respectively. This section simulates a large bandwidth scenario for the department in order to the burden and the bandwidth between A and B ensure the fast forwarding of traffic and provide a certain degree of redundancy to ensure the reliability of data transmission and links. Here we will do link aggregation in LACP mode between switch A and switch B. This page is our configuration idea, so we will follow this idea to finish all the configuration steps later. Let's take a look of this idea. First, create LAG1, configure LAG1 to LACP mode and add ports 24 to 26 to LAG1 to implement link aggregation. Second, Configure this system to priority. Determine the active interface according to the interface of active the end devices. Third, configure interface priority to determine the active link interface and the interface with higher priority will be selected as the active interface. Fourth, configure the load sharing mode of LAG1. Fifth, create a VLAN and add ports to the VLAN. Let's move to our first step. On the next nation bar, go to the port link aggregation group and find the LAG1, create it LAG1, and click EDO to add ports 24 to 26 to the LAG1. The second step is to set the LACP priority of switch A to 100 this priority determines switch A as the active devices 
and set the priority of interface in the active state. By the way, the smaller number, the higher the priority. The next step, we change the priority of the ports 24 to 26 to 100. Step 4, select the load balance mode at MAC address and click apply button. What's more, you need to create VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 on switch A. Step 6. Because the port 4 and port 5 connect to computer, we need to configure these two ports to access mode. Step 7. Set port 4 to untarget mode and LAG1 to target mode on VLAN 100 and on VLAN 200, set port 4 to untarget mode and LAG1 to target mode. Now that the configuration of switch A is complete, let's take a look at the configuration of switch B. First, same as the switch A, find the port link aggression group and created LAG1. Don't forget add the ports. 24 to 26 to LAG1. The second step is to set LACP priority of switch B to 32768. This priority determines switch B as an inactive device. By the way, the larger the number, the lower the priority. In third step, we change the priority of the ports 24 and 26. To 32768. Step 4 Select the load balance mode as MAC address and click Apply button. In step 5, you need to create VLAN 100 and VLAN 200 on switch B. Because the port 4 and port 5 connect to computer, we need to configure these two ports to access mode. The last step, set port 4 to untarget mode and LAG1 to target mode on VLAN 100. By the way, on VLAN 200, set port 5 to untarget mode and LAG1 to target mode. Now that the configuration of switch B is complete, now it's time to test the re results. Alright, that's all about today's configuration. Thanks for listening. See you next time.